Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. 5 to the power of ex plus 25 to the power of ex equals 1. And in this video, we're going to solve for the value of x or the real value of x. And before we start, I would like to say thank you. For those new to my channel, if you can uh, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Now let's start solving. So we have here 5 to the power of ex plus 25 power of ex equals 1. And you might be wondering what is this e for? Well, actually, everybody must know it already. But uh, in case you don't know, e is Euler's number. So let's keep going. We focus our attention on the second term. The basis 25 can be written the same way as 5 squared. 5 to the power of ex plus 5 squared power of ex equals 1. And this equation can be written the same way as 5 to the power of ex plus 5 to the power of ex is squared equals 1. This is based on exponent rule formula that is a raised to m raised to n power is equal to written the same way as a to the power of n to the power of m and the same way written as a to the power of m times n. And from here I would like to arrange these terms right here putting this on the first left side of the equation and putting this uh, constant to the left side of the equation the same way. So the equation now becomes 5 to the power of ex is squared plus 5 to the power of ex plus 1 becomes minus 1 on the left side of the equation. Now it's equal to 0. So if you notice, this equation now is transformed to a quadratic equation because of the exponent 2 right there. All right, so... From here, let's introduce another variable to represent this 5 raised to the ex power. And now, so let's define that variable. So I'm selecting u. So let u be the value of 5 to the exponent ex. Now we have substituted this value of u to this equation. u squared plus u minus 1 equals 0. And to solve for the value of u, we need to use the quadratic formula to get the value of u. So we have here the quadratic formula. QF is equal to, we have a variable u, so u is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And since our equation is in the standard form, where we take the coefficients of each term, a here is equal to 1, and b here is equal to 1 also, but c is negative 1. So from here, we're substituting those uh, a, b, c values into this uh, equation, get the value of variable u. u now is equal to minus b is 1. So that is minus 1 plus or minus is square root of b squared. That's 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 1. That's all over 2 and a is 1. So 2 times 1. So simplify this. u now is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1. Minus 4 times negative 1, and this is minus, so that is positive 4. And divide by 2 times 1 is 2. From here, we can recall that u is just a substituted uh, variable in place of 5 to the power of ex. So now we're using this value to substitute for the value of u equal to 5 to the power of ex. So 5 to the power of ex equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, divided by 2. So from here, we take the logarithm on both sides of the equation. The equation now becomes log of 5 to the power of ex is equal to 
log of the quantity minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So from here, we can take down the exponent now as a coefficient from the logarithm exponent rule. That is, log of a raised to x is equal to x log of a. So exponent goes down as a coefficient. The equation now becomes ex times log of 5 is equal to log of negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And from here, checking the value of x, that means we're dividing both sides of the equation with e and log of 5. So both sides divide by e log of 5. It's e log of 5. So e cancels and log of 5 cancels. And we left out with just the value of x. So x now equal to log of the quantity minus 1 plus or minus is square root of 5 divided by 2 all over e log of 5. From here, since uh, we're just interested in the uh, positive values of x, that means uh, since we're taking the uh, real values of x only, so that means we're discarding the negative root of 5. So we'll be just after the positive root of 5 to get the real value of x. So we'll be using that positive root of 5. So the value of x now then is equal to log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 all divided by e log of 5. So this is our answer. For the sake of computation, we're taking the uh, numerical value of x uh, in decimal form. So the value of x in decimal form is, is approximately equal to negative 0.1099. Let's check our answer. Substitute this value to the original equation. So let's check that. Original equation is 5 to the power of ex plus 25 power of ex equals 1. And from here also, we need to get the value of e Euler's number. So, so we have here Euler's number also. So e is approximately equal to 2.71828. Here the first term now is equal to 0.618. Then plus, the second term is equal to 0.382. Is this equal to 1? 0 0.618 plus 0 0.382 is 1. So this is equal to 1. All right. Confirm that the value of x, negative 0 0.1099 is correct. So that is our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day everyone. I will see you in the next videos. Thank you very much. Bye.